Welcome to Synagogues of New York, Part 52. We're checking out our third segment, looking at synagogues in Manhattan. And we're going to check out some iconic Jewish houses of worship. The first one shown here is the Sons of Moses. It's located in Lower Manhattan, near the Williamsburg Bridge. The congregation was started in 1900, and we believe that Shaul Small is the rabbi. We've moved over to what is called the Conservative Synagogue of Fifth Avenue, although its address is on 11th Street, and it's located in Greenwich Village. Joe Schwartz has been its rabbi since 2015. Services are conducted for Shabbat on both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. There is also a Sunday morning minion on the first and third Sunday of each month. Here's another conservative congregation. Or Olam are also known as the East 55th Street Synagogue. I guess that puts it in the mid portion of the east side. Eugene A. Wernick has been its rabbi since August of 2015. The congregation was founded in 1906 and called Chevra B'nai Levi. Its current location was purchased in 1916 from a Baptist church. A renovation with a granite facade was done in the 1970s. The congregation affiliated with the conservative movement in 1966. Besides Shabbat services, there is a daily morning minion. Well, here's a reform temple called the East End Temple, and it's located on 17th Street on the east side in downtown Manhattan. Shabbat services are held on Friday evenings and on selected Saturday mornings. Josh Stanton is the rabbi. The congregation was founded in 1948. And this one here is an Orthodox congregation called the Fifth Avenue Synagogue. And again, not understanding the New York mindset, why is it called Fifth Avenue when it is not on Fifth Avenue, but on 62nd Street? Regardless, this Orthodox congregation was founded in 1958, and its current rabbi is Yaakov Kermeyer. Apparently, this is also the synagogue where Herman Wolk, the famous author, prayed when he was in New York. And there is also a mikvah situated in the building. Located currently in the building that's got 1384 in gold is the Garment Center District Synagogue. This Orthodox congregation seems to move around a bit. It's located in Midtown Manhattan and has services every day except Sunday. We believe it was founded in the year 2000 and does not have a permanent rabbi as a spiritual leader. And since we're showcasing the names of locations as synagogues, here's the Greenwich Village Synagogue. Its other name is written as Darach Amuno, but I believe it should be Derech Amuno. Part of the variation in the spelling is because this is quite an old congregation, being founded in 1838. The building shown here was converted as a synagogue in 1917. And this Orthodox congregation also does not have a rabbi. By the way, one can see the Hebrew letters Derech Amuno on the door portal. We're going to fly through the air and take us all the way down from Greenwich Village all the way up to Washington Heights and the Hebrew Tabernacle of Washington Heights. It's a reform affiliated congregation. The congregation was unofficially formed in 1906 but may have been more officially designated in 1910. Jeffrey Gale is the rabbi. There are Friday evening and Saturday morning Shabbat services. We're looking at Kehillah Kedosha Janina, an Orthodox synagogue comprised originally from members of Greek Jews. The building shown here was erected in 1927 and in 2004 was listed on the National and State Registers of Historic Places and designated a New York City landmark. This Lower East Side congregation holds services on a weekly basis on Shabbat and uses the Sephardic traditions. We believe it does not employ a permanent rabbi, but it does have a museum where tours are provided. Speaking of shuls with unique traditions, this is Kahal Adath Yashurin, also up in Washington Heights area. It has the true Germanic or Ashkenazic practices. 
As is shown on the building, it has been named after Rav Shimon Schwab, the famous adherent of the teachings of Rabbi Shimshon Raphael Hirsch. Besides Rav Schwab, there was also Rabbi Dr. Joseph Breuer, who was a leader of this congregation. And there are many Jews practicing in the world today who are Breuer Hasidim. The congregation was established in 1939. The building shown here was erected in 1952. Its two current leaders are Rav Zechariah Geli and Rav Yisrael Mantel. There is a sign on the building that reads, Torah in Der Heretz. It's a motto that basically reminds everyone that being in good with your relationship with God is meaningless if you are inconsiderate to your fellow man. Last but not least on this tour is another iconic congregation, the Lincoln Square Synagogue, located on the city's Upper West Side. This had been a conservative synagogue until Rabbi Riskin showed up around 1964 and convinced others with his excess energy that there could be enjoyment in moving to a more observant practice. Shaul Robinson is its current senior rabbi, Josh Rosenfeld, the assistant rabbi. This particular tour is over, but there are still many more synagogues in the island of Manhattan, in the state of New York, as well as the state itself to check out. So, bye for now and see you soon.